Oh, well, we're here just down the road from the Iowa 80 in Iowa on the I-80 at the Volvo dealership. I have got an air compressor issue. I'll show you here, one sec. So we're here on the driver's side of the engine. And to keep it simple for you, you see this green hose right here? It popped out of there. It hadn't completely popped out of there before, but I guess just as I was pulling in here, it just popped right out of the air compressor. That's what that big block is right there. And uh, that goes to the air governor up here. And that's, in short, and to keep it simple, like I said, uh, that's what causes the truck to go Psh! And it's not going Psh! now. The air compressor is just continually running. And uh, it's not good. Not good. Let's go inside and talk to the good people. I hope they're good people. I really hope they are. Apparently they got 17 bays here. Hope they got one for me. Your destination will be on the right. <laughs> She's still tracking me here. Uh, Google. Google, I thought I told you to stop. Stop that. So this is called Twin Bridges Truck City. It's in Davenport, Iowa. Close to Davenport anyway, not quite in town. but We'll see. The Volvo dealership in Winnipeg really, really gave me a bad impression. So hopefully this Volvo dealership is better because I don't have any other option. The part I need is a Volvo specific part. What I could do is pick up the part from them and go back to TA if I can get back there and get them to install it there or see if I have the right tools. I don't think I have the right tools to get that off of there. If I could get access to the tools, I could do it myself. It's always cheaper just to buy tools than to pay someone to use their tools. And then you got tools. That's what my dad always says. It's always cheaper to buy the tools you need to fix it, fix it yourself. And then in the end, you save money and you got new tools. That's smart. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we gotta do here. This is the source of my problem. This is the fix for my problem. This the fix for the source of my problem. I was gonna say it's the source of my problem, but this is actually gonna fix it. 20 bucks. That's it. And all I need is a adjustable wrench. Pop the other one off, pop this one back on, stick the holes in there, boom. Problem solved. So I can actually fix it myself. Oh boy. Well, $800 later and we're out of the shop. Starting our day. We're not late at least. At least we're still on time. So we got a new airline connection that connects my uh, governor, my air governor, to my air compressor. How do I get out of here? So there's a new airline connection that had to be picked up at Volvo. And I figured, well, why not get a full service right away, right? So I brought the truck back here to TA to get a full service because it needed it. And then, in the shop, my air purge valve decides to go kaput. At least it happened in the shop, right? But yeah, so we had to get the air purge valve replaced right away as well. So all in all, with the service, the service was the most expensive part. I mean, I went with the premium. It was the middle option. There's one better and one not as good, but I went with the middle one. So this truck is good to go again. And hopefully we won't have any more of these little issues. Ridiculous, redonkulous. You know that the labor in these shops here is $120 an hour, and at Volvo it was $155 an hour if you want them to do work on your truck. American, that's close to $200 an hour Canadian. Like probably like around, well, 175 or so, 180 dollars an hour at the Volvo dealership. Wow, what do you need that much money for? Must be expensive overhead there or something. But wow. Meters, turn left on 60th Avenue. 
than you. CRY 40. I can still remember when labor was 60 bucks an hour at all the shops. And we all got mad when it went up to like 80. And suddenly it was at 100 and everyone was just right mad. And now it's at 155 US dollars per hour. It's crazy because the freight rates aren't going up, but the, <laughs> the shop rates sure are. So is the fuel. In 300 meters, turn left on 60th <laughs> Avenue, CRY 40. So those extra expenses aren't being carried on to the customer like in most businesses. So you guys aren't paying for these shop visits. We are. All of this extra cost comes from the truckers. We're not getting paid anymore, but we're paying more. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not terrible, but it is bad. And can I turn left here? What's going on here? This construction? What? Oh yeah. yeah, I'm good. But I mean, it's it's worth calling out, right? If you're gonna raise the shop rates to astronomical numbers like that, you gotta start raising freight rates then too. And you know what that means. That means that they've gotta raise the price of all the goods that you guys have around you. And nobody wants that, so maybe we should just keep everything the same. I wonder how much those mechanics are making. Apparently I'm in the wrong line of business. Apparently I should be a mechanic. whole bunch has happened today. We unloaded our trailer and I brought the empty trailer over to my shipper. They only want to load me in the morning but I was allowed to park there or I'm allowed to park there overnight and I they allowed me to drop my trailer there and go out for supper. So we're bobtailing right now no trailer behind us. And Continue on this road for eight kilometers. This is Davenport, Iowa. To me, this feels like as America as it gets. I don't know. I mean, then again, every state is about as America as it gets. And Iowa, I guess, is sort of like right in the middle, you know, the heartland, right? Look at these homes, they're beautiful. And Iowa reminds me a lot of home, too. Iowa, the terrain in Iowa is very similar to the terrain in southern Manitoba, where I'm from. You know, it's flat, a lot of agriculture. A lot of, lot of farming, lots of John Deere everywhere. But they also have a, a forested area of the state like this. Just their trees are a lot taller than ours because they have a longer growing season. I don't know, Iowa's always sort of felt a little bit like home. It reminds me of home, I guess. Nice people here too. Yeah, we're going to, uh, I'm actually going to Flying J. I want to fuel my tanks up tonight because it's supposed to get a little bit cold overnight and I don't want to have uh, low fuel. And I haven't put any uh, winterizer gel 
anti-gel in my fuel yet either and I want to do that because at home right now it's minus 40 with the wind chill it got cold again it's a cold snap so I want to make sure that all the fuel I have in my tanks when I get back up north is ready for it nothing worse than throwing your money away into a tow just for your truck to sit in a shop to thaw out throw all that money away just because you didn't prepare I actually have to correct myself. I lied to you. I'm sorry, but I'm an honest man and I'll admit when I realize I lied. Didn't do it on purpose. Davenport and Iowa are on the other side of the river just to our left. We are in Illinois. <laughs> so I guess Illinois reminds me of home a little bit as well. Some parts of it. Other parts are kind of scary. Uh, other parts being Chicago and anywhere around the lake. It's kind of scary there. Yeah, we are, uh, what, what's the city on the Illinois side then? So I guess Davenport's right on the border. We're about to go over the bridge right away here anyway and cross back into Iowa, so we're close enough. You knew what I meant. Diesel. Diesel. They're not gonna load us today, man. It's so unfortunate. They don't know that they're making the Lord of the Weasels wait, do they? I don't think they know, Diesel. How dare they? How dare they? Well, I'm gonna go back there and grab some sleep because I did not have a very good night last night, but thank God everything is fixed and good to go on the truck. <sighs> Got here an hour after they finished loading, apparently. Must be nice to go home early. You're here, so that makes me feel good. If you wanna make me feel real good, you can hit that subscribe button. Join the TJV crew here. We make a new video pretty much every day. Every day while we're on the road anyway. And tomorrow's another day. We gotta load up this farm equipment first thing in the morning and start heading home. Well, we're actually heading towards Saskatchewan. But I think we're gonna weasel our way past the house. You like what I did there, Diesel? No comment? Okay. We're gonna sneak past the house for a night. Cause, uh, I'm going to leave here on Thursday and I don't have to deliver in Saskatchewan two days away till Monday. So I'll leave here tomorrow. I'll be home Friday sometime. So it's Wednesday today. Uh, load tomorrow, I'll be home Friday sometime and I'll probably leave. Uh, the load's going to Estevan, Saskatchewan. Uh, it's about five, six hours from home. So uh, I'll probably leave Sunday to deliver Monday morning. <laughs> so get some more stuff done at home. And then hopefully the rest of the month will be busy, busy, busy because I've had some time at home now and I'm ready to work. But we do what we can. We do what we can. I can't complain. Can't complain. I got it good. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Click any of the boxes around here with videos in it. They'll take you to other videos of mine, including yesterday's if you missed it. Gotta stay caught up.